there at Tilt the Barn. We're out here at my uncle's place. Thought I'd throw, show you guys something a little different. So we're out here uh, with my dad and my uncle. And my dad's got this antique combine that he runs. So I thought it'd be a pretty cool thing to show you guys. I apologize for the wind, it's just the way it is. But uh, so we're out here and they're harvesting soybean. And this is a pretty cool thing. So my dad, he restored this combine. Found it in a barn. And obviously it's uh, a newer tractor. But this combine has got its own motor on it. dad he'll give you this whole scoop hopefully and uh, let us know how this whole thing's working And uh, get on low.
All right, so this is my dad. So this is Randy Simmons. So, Dad, this is your combine. So why don't you tell me about how you came across this combine and what you did to it? Well, I got up from the farmer over there by Grand Rapids. He had it stored in his barn for years and years and years. He finally needed the room. Well, I wish you'd put a beer in your hand. It'd, it'd look a whole lot better. Would it? <laughs> All right. So why don't you tell me about this combine, where you found it, how old it is. Give me a little bit of history on, on what you've done to this machine. I bought this combine from a farmer over there by Grand Rapids. He had it stored in his barn for years. He needed the room, and so he advertised it. I was looking for a combine to restore. So I happened to see this one, and I gave him a call, and price was right, so I bought it. And so what kind of condition was it in when you bought it? It was in pretty decent condition. Um, when I got it home and stuff, first thing I did was I tried starting the motor, and the motor took right off. So I was kind of surprised there. Because this is, this is unique in that it's got its own motor on it. It doesn't have a power takeoff no. like... Uh, the the I would I want to say a newer combine, but the next generation after this would have had. Yeah, yeah. Well, they did come out with a PTO on these machines too. So it's but this one here. It was here, just let, like. Let me, let me take my beer back. Just, here. There's a full one there if you'd like. <laughs> this combine was just like the combine that we grew up with. My brother Dale and I grew up with. My dad had. Them. Okay. Just like it. So that was one of the reasons why I bought it, because it was almost a replica. Some nostalgia. Yep. So, and so this has got a canvas belt on it, and, and you had mentioned earlier to me that one of the issues that you've got with these combines is that it's rare to have a canvas belt and hard to find a replacement. Oh, yeah. Okay. And how, how old is this? What, what would you estimate? What year is this combine? It's either a 39 or a 40. 1939 or 1940. Okay. So it's, you guys can do the math on this one because I'm not going to. When, uh, well, when I got it home, I backed it into the shop, my barn. And I completely tore it down. I mean, it's everything came off in it. Everything, pulleys, uh, belts, you name it, it it came off. There was a few shafts that I had to uh, have a guy made for me and stuff. So parts aren't available. You had to have custom built replacement parts made. I went out and I bought two old combines junk combines that have been sitting outside for years. Brought them home, I stripped them down, and I, I still got a lot of parts for this combine up in the hayloft. And there's a couple times I've had to go up and get parts for, for it, you know, when it's broke. Because things, things wear out, things break. Things wear out is right. Of course, when you're talking 70 some years old or almost 80 years old uh, it's going to go to yeah it's we, not going to last forever we would be worn out too so what model combine is this the john deere 12a and is there anything unique about the a it's just the model number that they came out with um john deere came out first they came out with the john deere number 10 and then they came out with the John Deere number 11. But both those models were short-lived. They came out with this model here, and it was made 20, 25 years before they came out with the next model. So it had a long life. It had a long life. This, this was a very popular, popular machine. And how wide... How wide is the cutting bar on this? this what, what's foot. your what's your cutting swath? Five, five foot? foot. Yep. Now I've got a John Deere 25, 
which is a newer one, and uh, it's got a six foot uh, cutting swath on it. Same, same style machine, but all they did was they beefed up the frame on the 25, increased the bushel bin to a 25 bushel. That's where they came up with the 25. And how, how big is this? 18. This is an 18 bushel. So the numbers don't necessarily correspond from a 12A to a, a 25. Okay. Well, thanks for your time, Dad, and I appreciate you going through this and, and explaining all this to us. Well, you're welcome. All right.